On Community, we've discussed hair, natural hair, when it comes to women of color. You've heard about the Crown Act, but there's one woman who decided to write a book. It's called Embracing My Black Natural Hair, a guide from a former television reporter who went natural. She was Esther Miller when she was a reporter at WGRZ-TV. Now married with a son, Esther Dillard's book is eye-opening for some and uplifting for others. I always had it straightened, and I had to think about the fact that in the professional field I was in, that was not embraced. Um, having natural, using natural Afrocentric hairstyles, braids or um, things that will that look Afrocentric, that was not acceptable on the air as a television reporter. W always wonder why other black women on the air did not wear braids. Um, and it kind of was an unspoken thing, kind of pretty much that that's just not the professional way that you'd want to wear your hair. My background was always when growing up that, you know, when you wanted to get pretty for a particular uh, event that you always went and got your hair done straightened or um, with press and curl. There was a woman by the name of Melba Tolliver. She worked for WABC. She was one of the first who kind of was a television reporter kind of pushed back on this in wearing her natural hair. About 41% of Black women will straighten their hair um, for an interview. Uh, about 54% of Black women feel that they have to wear their hair straightened and not in their natural state in order to get a job. And that's not just for television, that's for any professional field. That's according to Dub.com's website. If there are people that are in power that don't look like me or you, um, and they feel that that this is one way or standard way that they feel is professional looking, then they set that standard. And um, I think that a lot of women are pushing back against that. We've got now uh, in uh, Katanji Brown Jackson, the first uh, Supreme Court justice who's actually uh, got natural hair. She's wearing um, the same type of hairstyle that I have, our sister locks. And it's, it's encouraging to other women that are in a professional field that no matter whether it is a political position, whether it is a, a business position, whether it's teaching, that you can be able to wear your hair in a natural state and still be professional and still be able to know how to do your job and still be able to do a good job. I hope that people will get inspired to get behind the Crown Act and support other women who are trying to just be themselves in a professional space.